Hi, in part one, I designed a simple shoji and showed you the making of a hit board. Now let's move on to making the frame. Shoji are relatively simple to make, and once you've learnt the steps and techniques that I'll show you in this short series, you'll be making your own very soon. The frame consists of the two styles, a top rail, middle rail and bottom rail. Breaking it apart we can see that the styles have mortises for all the rails and for the kumiko and a groove for the hip board. The top and middle rails are tenoned for the styles and have mortises for the kumiko. The bottom rail is also tenoned for the styles and both the middle and bottom rail have a groove for the hip board. Looking from the back, a rebate runs around the upper opening. This either recesses the shoji paper, or in my case, will hold the MDF panel. The stars and rails are all sawn and plain to size, leaving them a little bit long in their length, which we'll adjust later on. And I also smooth planed them, and hopefully I won't need to touch them again. Then a rebate plane made short work of running in all the rebates on the stars and rails. While a plough plane makes short work of the grooves for the hip board in both of the rails. It takes a fair bit longer to chop the mortises and the stopped grooves in the stars. Tenons are now laid out and sawn. I like to leave the line so that I can finish off with the router plane for a nice snug fit. Then they get cut to length, chamfered and it's ready for a dry fit. So this has been the uh, hip board that we made last time, comes together with the frame for the first time and we put it all together for a frame dry fit and you can see when I've done it how uh, the scale is very different from the shows you can see in the background. Join me next time when we'll be making Kumiko and making the mortises to fit them to the stars and rails. <laughs>